Our physical computing course is subtitled Art, Robotics, and Tech for Good. For the Tech for Good portion, our students have been working on assistive technology projects with our partner, the Boston College Campus School, an on-campus learning program for students with physical and developmental challenges aged 3 through 21. Now, each student created an Instructables page so anyone can build similar projects to help people in their own communities. Jen Gemsky, Campus School's assistive technology specialist, generously worked with our students throughout the semester, identifying areas where Boston College students could use their management, design, and engineering skills to build real projects that improve the lives of our students. Here's a look at what they built. Gage and Daniel built a social game that helps students develop sharing and turn-taking skills. This project was made with Adafruit matrix portals and Circuit Playground Bluefruit devices to pass animations back and forth. These devices plug into accessible switches that can be easily mounted to wheelchairs, another component students built this semester while learning 3D printing and soldering skills. Megan and Cindy built a multi-sensory jellyfish stand. A large accessible button triggers lights and sounds in an aquatic theme, and various textures provide additional stimulation that complements the light show and audio stimulus. Jake and Albert built the B Piano, a large yellow board with black keys that plays notes in the style of a bumblebee. The board was milled from wood and has handles that a caregiver can hold up or that can be used to mount the board to a wheelchair. Emily and Angie built a project for a student who spends most of her day in a lying position. Now this sensory stand will play favorite tunes and provide a light show when triggered via a foot pedal, and the 3D printed Disney theme is also a favorite of this student. Now the design is large and sturdy, but it's also lightweight so that it can be easily moved by caregivers and contains padding so that there's no danger if it gets jostled or knocked over. Yifan built a cash register that can be used by students who run the campus school's on-campus coffee shop. He rewired the 24-volt computer interface for a traditional cash drawer, stepping the voltage down to also power the Circuit Playground Bluefruit microcontroller, and he added a relay switch to open the drawer. Then he included additional touches, such as a thank you sign that allows student workers to express their gratitude, even if nonverbal. Connor and June built this stand because they know many campus school students are also big fans of Boston College sports teams. A light touch to the football, basketball, hockey puck, or stand will trigger a different sound and a light show that can help campus school eagles celebrate with their favorite team. Jack created a voice playback device that's less expensive, more durable, while offering more features than commercial alternatives currently used by campus school. And finally, Remy built an interactive aquarium simulator that two students can use to play together. Long assistive tech-friendly cords can be attached to accessible buttons, and each can trigger a light show, as well as the SpongeBob theme song, or a sea shanty that's a particular campus school favorite. I'm so proud of the work that our students have done. Our students will be demonstrating their work in their final portfolio showcase on Thursday, December 9th, 2021, from 4.30 to 6.50 in the Lynch Center on the fifth floor of Fulton Hall. Stop by, grab a slice of pizza, and see some of the other projects that have been created by our talented and hardworking students. Thanks for watching, and feel free to leave an encouraging word in the comments.